everyone, I'm Jody, and welcome to my channel. I am really glad that you're here today. And if you like lipstick, lip gloss, lip liner, lips in general, uh, and you want them to stay all day, then I think you'll be glad you stopped by today too. If you have not subscribed, I would really appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button right down there. It's the red one. I'll show you what it looks like right here. And that helps the channel be put in front of other women who are busy and ambitious, just like you and I, that are looking for quick bits of information, quick bits, quick, quick bites, quick pieces, bites, pieces. It's all, yeah, just made a new word. Anyway, I'm glad that you're here today. And what we're going to talk about today is how to get your lip gloss, lipstick, and lip liner to last throughout the day on our more mature lips. Now, I am not gonna tell you that this technique is going to allow your lipstick to last all day through lunch, through happy hour, through dinner, and you, when you go to bed at night, you're just gonna look as though you just put it on. No, but it will certainly help for events if you're gonna be somewhere for a few hours and you want your lipstick to look nice and as if you had just placed it and you don't have to keep touching it up if you're going out with you know, friends for the evening, if you're gonna be doing anything for several hours and you want your lipstick to last, then I think this will also help. Another thing that we're gonna talk about is how to keep those lines straight along your lip lines and how to edge it correctly so that it just looks really crisp and clean. And we're gonna get into all of it. So if that's a tutorial that you are interested in, then stick around and we come back. I will have my lipstick off and we'll do it together. So if you wanna grab your lipstick, lip liner, lip gloss, and some concealer, hit pause, come back. I'll be here waiting for you and we'll do it together. I'm gonna zoom you nice and close so you can see how we're doing this and we will do it all together. The first thing that I do is I let my lips start to moisturize. So I love using Aquaphor. I just use this big container. Nobody else uses this but me, which is why I'm sticking my finger in it. And I put that on as I am getting my makeup on just so that my lips can sort of soak up that moisture so that they are ready for application of lipstick or lip gloss primarily lip liner by the time I'm ready to get to that step. So while that is doing its thing, now you can use any chapstick or lip moisturizer that you like. There's a variety of brands out there. You can also just grab some coconut oil if you have that on hand, just something to keep your lips from drying out while you're doing the rest of your makeup and they're nice and hydrated. So the next thing that I wanna do is prepare the area around the lips while my lips are getting moisturized. And for that, I'm just gonna take this Tatcha Silk Canvas that I've talked about before I love this as a primer now if you don't have those smoker lines or smile lines or straw use lines whatever you want to call them then you can skip this step but if you're like me and you're starting to get those sort of lines from puckering too much um, around your mouth you want to take care of those before we start to line the lips because that's where it gets a little harder to, to do straight lines and you'll start to get that lipstick or lip gloss sort of bleed out because of those cracks. They're not cracks, they're, they're life lifelines and that's okay. So I just take a little bit of that primer and I just press it right into that area where I have those lines, just to think about it as filling a pothole, right? You're just filling it so that it is the same level as everything around it so that when you go to put that lip liner on, the lip liner isn't trying to go like this. And maybe that's just because I never was very good at drawing straight lines and maybe you have a better shot at that, but I have found this to be really helpful. So once I get that primer pressed, really pressed into all of those lines, I just let it sort of set up and do its thing. Then I'll go back and just start to rub off some of that moisturizer, the Aquaphor that we used. And this is where I will line my lips. Now leaving that primer right where it is, I go from the highest point and I draw an X. like that. And then I just start to feather it along the edge. And then right along the outside. Then when you get the line the way that you want, drawing just on the outside of that edge, and you can see already how that primer has helped that line be completely straight. Then I'm just gonna fill in with my liner. Now I'm using the I Need a Nude by Natasha Denona.
So think of that step sort of as our base, like that's like putting on your foundation. That is just the base. And from there, that's this is where the work starts to come in. Next, you're gonna wanna take an angled brush, just a really tightly angled, a tightly packed angled brush. And this is from It Cosmetics. This is their eyeliner and eyebrow brush. And what I'm gonna do here is just take some of my concealer. Now this can be the same concealer that you use under your eyes. I like to use this Tarte Creaseless Concealer for this step because of its thickness. And I'm using it in, in 20, I think. Yeah, 20 in, 20 in light. And I'm just gonna take this brush ever so lightly and get that product right on the tip of the brush. I don't want the product on the side because that's where it starts to get messy. So right on the tip of that brush, wipe off any excess. And then I'm just gonna go and line my lip with this concealer and then I'm gonna feather it out. So it should look something like this when you're done. And you wanna line all of it so that it allows the first place that you put it down to sort of get tacky. So by the time you work your way around, it's ready for feathering. Now you'll take that same brush and you're just gonna feather it out so that you can then go back and blend it with the rest of your foundation. But if you were to take a foundation brush now and try to blend it, it's gonna make a big mess because that line is so thin, which is what we want. So we have to feather it with this brush. And that looks just like this. And when you're feathering it, you're, you want to pull that concealer farther away from your lips so that when you go back in with your Kabuka brush or however you put on your foundation, you're able to grab that concealer nowhere near your lip with this brush so that then you can blend it. You don't want this brush or however you put on your foundation, whether it's a beauty sponge or whatever, to get too close to your lip because then you've blurred this crisp line that we've just put there. So it should look something like this when you're finished. Now you can probably already see how much larger my lips look just because we've added some light there. Now what I like to do when I have this brush and I've just feathered all of that out so there's still a little bit of product on the tip of my brush, I like to draw just a straight line on the high points of those two lines that go up to your nose and just very, very carefully draw a highlight with this concealer on the highest point of that line. similar to that, and then blend that ever so slightly on the outside. Now, if you're more comfortable with a bronzer or a contour, a darker stick, you can use one stripe of the darker right down the center, and that gives sort of that same illusion. Okay, and once you've got that highlighter feathered away from your mouth, then I just go in and ever so slightly blur it into the rest of my foundation. Next, we'll go in with our lipstick. Now, I like to apply my lipstick if I really want it to last with a synthetic brush. This is the MAC 242S. I've talked about this one before. And this is MAC's Creme, Creme de Nude. And I'm just gonna put that right over that lip liner. 
Now the combination of the I Need a Nude lip liner and this Creme de Nude by MAC gives you that 90s inspired, slightly overlined lip look that is so popular for spring. And I just take that synthetic brush and that's what I like about this is it's just small enough and fine at the end to just cover that lip line without going into or past the line into our concealer. So now you have the shape of your lips. They're a little bit enlarged because of that lightning concealer that we put around the edge. Now we're gonna go over it with a little bit of lip gloss just because the look for spring and summer is more of that shine, less matte. Now, if you have a lipstick that is already a satin or a gloss, you don't need to do this step. I just really like that Creme de Nude and it's not quite as satiny finish as I would like. So I'm just gonna go over it with this gloss. This is Buxom White Russian. And I'm just gonna put that right down the center. About the center third, I would say, and blend those together. So what do you guys think? Are you liking it so far? Okay. Now we're going to grab some tissue and I just grabbed some toilet paper. And if you have two ply, you know, we're not gonna get too personal here, but if you have two ply toilet paper, you want to tear it in half and go from a two ply to a one ply. And I should have done that off camera, but I didn't think it'd be that hard. It's really not, I guess. I just need to tear it. Okay, you want the thinnest. You And the reason we're gonna, kind of cut it in half, if you will, or tear it in half, is because I don't want the thickness of two things of tissue. I just want one. Now, if you have really thin paper towels or if you have thin Kleenex, then that, or tissue, that would work as well. I just don't, this was just easiest to grab and it's something universal that I think everyone has in their home. And then you're just gonna take your translucent powder. Now I'm using just that same translucent powder that I used to set underneath my eyes. This is the Laura Mercier. And I'm just going to, now remember we put some primer here and some concealer. Now typically up here with concealer, we wanna set it with powder. The same is said for down here. And because we want this to last longer, we're also gonna set the lipstick lip gloss. So to do that, we're gonna take that thin piece of tissue paper. I'm just gonna get some powder on my brush and then you're gonna cover your lips and put the powder all over it, including your concealer area as well as your lip liner and lipstick. And voila. So you can see that doesn't make my lips look dry. It doesn't make them look dried out. I've got enough layer of product to keep that powder from drying out the look, especially with that gloss. And it helps set that concealer around the outer edge. So now you are ready for whatever it is you would like to do for the next several hours. Now, another tip is if you are going to be out drinking with lipstick on, on whether it's you know beer bottles or champagne glasses or wine glasses, a quick tip is to just, when no one's looking because you have to keep it classy, lick the outer edge of that glass where your lips will be applied just ever so lightly with your tongue. Then when you go to drink with lipstick, it will not leave that lip mark on your glass, your wine glass or champagne glass. Or you know what, just sometimes you just need a good old beer bottle. So there you go, you guys. I hope this process worked smoothly for you and over time it will become a more quick process, but it definitely works. It keeps your lipstick on, it keeps your lips from looking too dry, and it just gives you that nice defined edge without the lines and sort of that extra bleeding that we typically get with our lip liner as we age. So I hope you enjoy this. If so, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, let them know how to look beautiful even longer in their day, and I will see you back here next time. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.